my son is very intuitive and he had a series of seven dreams that portrayed something terrible happening at the beach. Jay was in tears, warning us that something bad was going to happen. And he couldn't say what it was, but he just knew. My name is Widari Dawam. I come from Banda Aceh. It was holiday and I was at home with my parents and my siblings, 500 meters from the beach. Happened for minutes, for some minutes. I saw another people just like us, you know, some of them lying on the ground because the wave of the earthquake is so strong. Seperti dalam foto saya itu. Seolah-olah di saat itu kejadian itu memang seolah-olah dunia ini sudah kiamat. Cangannya itu memang di luar yang sudah-sudah pernah kita rasakan di Aceh. We decide to just stay outside for a while because of the earthquake. So we wait for a while. And then I, was, I saw hundreds of people then. They, they're running, uh, they were running from the sea. They look scared, very, very scared. And they are screaming. start to feel scared because I saw a giant wave. It's higher than my house. My sister start to scream, so I just hug my sister. The room is filled by water, and then the house breaks. I'm in the water. I cannot breathe anymore. And suddenly, I found myself floating on the surface of the water. I tried to find something. I tried to grab something, and I found, I think it's a bag of a couch. I start to call my father, my mom, my husband. Nobody answered. Saat itu terjadilah kepanikan, itu berlalu menyelamatkan diri.
saya juga ikut di saat itu. Cuman kebetulan saya di saat itu saya berusaha untuk ke depan untuk Ada yang sudah telanjang ya, terbuka kainnya semua. Salah beberapa orang mereka, ada yang mereka tarik yang bisa diselamatkan. The waves took me back to the sea. So I was in the ocean now. So then I... I start to, you know, uh, saying all the holy sentence I know, what uh, what I believe, you know, I ask for help from God. den zweiten Weihnachtsfeiertag. Nilo und Lasse spielen schön am Strand. Das ist, glaube ich, irgendwie so halb neun morgens rum. Es war ein sunny day, es war lovely, es war calm. Wir gingen early to the beach, like every day. Wir started a perfect day, like every day. Und um die Bucht abzusichern, weil es die Marine da hin. Diving was so good, we wanted to dive one more day, and we left Jay and Kali, because she chose to, at the beach. So they both, of course, as teenagers do, slept in. We had a very hard time finding a place that seemed safe to the dive master to dive, because the currents were crazy, she said. Everybody was ready to go, and we dropped down. And immediately, it was like dropping down into a whirlpool. The current was just phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. You, you couldn't control. I mean, you just had to go wherever it took you. I figured at that time that I was just being a terrible diver, you know, that I had just lost my buddies and I didn't know what I was doing. It was remarkable because there were no fish. I've never seen that in the simulons. So something was coming and the fish knew it. This is Boxing Day, there has been a flood. I just suddenly come across the road while we stood here, and the tide suddenly risen six, seven feet. It just yeah, just suddenly come across the road while we stood here. Look at the waves right over there in that bay. Look. I know, it's like a riptide. That would have gone all around the bay. Oh, it's a that's a big wave. Fuck it up. There was a commotion, we heard a commotion on the beach, and Dave mentioned a wave or something.